Hello Sagittarius, I hope you're well, and today's reading will be looking at whoever you're thinking about for the rest of the year. Um, interesting person. <laughs> well, let's start with their mental space, um, their thoughts in regards to you. We have a Nine of Swords, Queen of Swords, Two of Pentacles, quite conflicted. Um, you know, Nine of Swords is anxiety, staying up at night. Um, there is something that happened between you both. Either did you cut this person off because they were juggling or they couldn't make a decision and you had enough of that with that Queen of Swords? It's a possibility. And this is really stressing your person out with that Nine of Swords. But something in regards to you is, you know, they're unsure about when it comes to you. Their intentions, we have the moon magician. I hate that combination. I really do. Um, this is manipulation at its finest, um, especially emotional manipulation. So intentions is to control, to manipulate, perhaps wanting more attention from you and for others of you. Um, if this person is seeing you get attention from other people, it is really you know, they're wanting to control you for those reasons, out of jealousy, possessiveness, that sort of thing. Um, but very much emotionally manipulative uh, person. Not saying, you know, that they're bad or anything. I'm, I'm seeing, you know, this can work, but I don't know. Right now, their energy is a bit, they're operating more from their insecurities when it comes to you. I did want to see your energy in regards to this person. And we had the Page of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Wands. You're studying the situation, uh, really curious and perhaps watching, you know, these type of readings um, to figure out where their head's at. And I can tell you that they're quite stressed over you. And uh, some of you are seeing if there's potential for anything stable here with that Ten of Pentacles. But, you know, you're in your page energy in regards to this person. So it's something small and you're wondering if it can you know, if you can build something with them, that can be long-lasting. Um, some of you could um, want a commitment with them or be in a commitment with them with that Ten of Pentacles. But there's you're gathering information, studying the situation with that Page of Swords. And you do, you're physically attracted to them as well. You know, Page of Wands is flirty, back-and-forth communication. I'm not sure there's communication right now because that Queen of Swords is a bit... It could be this person's, you know, they're having a hard time with this because they're trying to look at it from a logical stance where, where they need to, you know, feel this connection more so. Um, you know, let their intuition be their guide, but they're letting their mind um, sort of wander where it does and that's causing them confusion. It's a possibility. How, who the, how this person presents themselves to you, we have Wheel of Fortune, Two of Wands. They present themselves as someone who's unstable, someone who can't make a decision, someone who's confused, perhaps moody. One minute they're happy, one minute they're sad, very up and down um, in regards to their approach to you. So a bit here and there, flighty energy is how they present themselves to you. Who this person truly is. We have Taurus. This is a weird combination because we have Taurus, Uranus, a bit opposite energy from one another, and fifth house, Justice, Hanging Man, Page of Cups. Mm. So I'm getting this person has a hard time making up their mind. So what they're showing you and who they truly are is aligned in regards to that. But also someone who's a bit immature, naive with that Page of Cups. And sitting right beside hanging men, Pisces. Hmm. Yeah, someone who's has, I don't know if they lack experience or they're emotionally immature. That's what I'm getting. It's someone who's emotionally immature. But this person's conflicted. Um, you know, be, it's almost as if they want a relationship or they want to commit, but they also don't want to settle down. With that Uranus fifth house, this very Uranus and fifth house is a bit chaotic energy when it comes to their 
you know, their passions, their dating life, and their creativity. You know, fifth house rules of play, children, but I don't know. There's something unstable about this person, which is weird because it's paired right next to Taurus. So, I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm sensing con they're conflicted with wanting something serious and then, you know, um, have they're being committed and then being free at the same time they don't want to feel tied down or restricted in any way especially which is weird because that's some more sagittarius energy some of you could be dealing with another sagittarius hmm. perhaps you could be feeling that but i wasn't getting that because in your energy we have the ten of pentacles one of the more stable Perhaps you're looking for stability and they, they bring a lot of chaotic energy towards you. Because if we look at it, you know, Taurus, Justice is Venus and then Uranus. Um, these people are, you know, Venus and Uranus is when it can be a long distance relationship. Sometimes Uranus is on again, off again. So these are some obstacles that you may face with this person. One person unwilling to be tied down with Uranus and hanging man. It's a fear this person has, or you do, one of you. More so this person, though. How they're feeling, we have Hermit, the chariot. Again, I'm seeing conflicted, someone being torn in two different directions. But there's they're feeling lonely. They're feeling withdrawn, isolated from you. And that's what's making me think, did they you cut them off with that Queen of Swords and their thoughts? Especially if they were deceiving you or they were juggling you. Because with your love cards, we do have deception and commitment. Was this person committed elsewhere? Or this, you know, if this is, isn't a third party or this person isn't a player, it could be um, they have a fear of being cheated on. Because in there, we do have nine of swords. So a very fearful individual in regards to being cheated on has trust issues. That's a possibility. Because for their actions they're taking towards you, we have King of Swords, Judgment, Four of Pentacles, the World, Four of Cups, Two of Swords, whoever this person is, I'm getting a fixed energy from them. So they could be Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, but a very, yeah, rigid, stubborn, unwilling to change their mind. And this person, they're not doing, they're not taking any action towards you. Um, to make this work and if this you know if you've ended things they're stubborn they don't want to be the first one to let their guard down or approach you with that four of cups two of swords so they're ignoring the situation and a part of this i'm not saying this is you know doomed i'm not getting that because there's some strong potential here um but this person needs time because we do have eighth house chiron moon so this person is healing um you know issues and eighth house matters so you know it could be um external situations um if there's been a death in their family um that is a possibility or um you know some sexual healing or intimacy issues they may have but also with the moon it's it has to do with their emotions but uh, yeah this person needs time out for sure um Especially if this, you know, moon, eighth house, it could be this person attracts relationships where there's power struggles. Um, they, they may have control issues or jealousy, possessiveness, but it's almost as if this connection draws out their more shadow aspects within them. Not that you're doing anything wrong, but it triggers them and it's, it's a bit heavy for them. Um, they're already <laughs> an indecisive person and then you know throw some passion and intensity on top of that's too much for them i can see that and they're taking a step back not that they're not interested i'm seeing a strong emotional and physical uh connection here but it's it's a bit too much for them to handle and you know their ego is getting in the way as well where they don't want to be the first one to make a move i don't think they're in the space because of that nine of swords but let's get their messages for you. We have, I'm going to continue to play mind games. I can't make you think you have me completely. 
Yeah, justice can be tit for tat. Uh, let's get away for a while and restore our connection. It will do us some good. Yeah, um, would you mind spending the rest of your life with me? I'm convinced you're the one for me. I'm coming in briefly. I still have a lot of issues to work through. Yeah, eighth house, Chiron, Moon is it, exactly what I was telling you. Um, they will be back with would you mind spending the rest of your life with me? Let's get a away for a while and restore our connection. Yeah, they'll be coming back for a second chance. Um, hopefully they'll be done with their petty mind games here that I'm seeing, but you know, they, they, they're aware. I like that. They're aware of these issues and they're wanting to work on those and, uh, come forward when they're ready. But for your advice, I do want to say we have new beginnings. When a door of opportunity opens up, it, it is not always golden or pretty looking. Pay attention so you don't overlook it. It's the right path to take. And in the on the bottom of the deck, we have change in direction. For some of you, your guides are saying there's a new opportunity being presented to you in love. And perhaps um, it may not be wise to wait around for this person. But really follow your intuition um, in regards to this. Um, because it, I can re read this in two ways. For one, it's telling you that... Yeah, the situation is difficult, but it will pay off if you stick, you know, stick, stick with it in a way. Um, if you persist and hold on to this connection, there's something beautiful that will emerge from this. Um, but you, you know, this is a general reading, so it'll be different for each one of you. And for others of you, it may be another person um, that your guides are saying may be better for you. But we also have number 15 or 6, garden. Something lovely will grow from this. I'll read this to you. Um, either we sit around and dwell on our pain or we learn how to grow something lovely out of it. Ready or not, it's time for the next chapter of your life. Yeah, new beginnings. Do the thing you feel you most need to do in order to aid your healing, even if it feels selfish. Sometimes... It needs to be a little selfish in order for it to work in the long run. Worry about focusing on you for now. For most of you, you know what I'm getting is your guides are telling you to be selfish and not wait for this person to heal and move on if there's a you know opportunity being presented to you that may be better for you in the long run. So really depends, you know. Um, for some of you, if you've invested a lot of time and energy you know, the more time and energy you've invested, the harder it will be to let go. But really, you know, quiet that mind, really listen to your intuition and do what feels right. But that is what I have for you, Sagittarius. Hopefully this was of some help to you. Do like and comment if it was. Otherwise, take care of yourself and I will see you later. Bye.